So um, we're going to be doing a real simple pattern here. It's going to be elbow followed by an opposite side knee. They, believe it or not, this is like super effective street fighting stuff. Usually in the streets, it, the simpler the better, right? So without the pads real quick, what it looks like is Ralph like push me or something, right? Like, oh shit, man. Boom. I get him in the jaw with the elbow and then opposite side knee. Now, this is where it can get a little tricky. I mean, obviously in the streets, if we just throw this, fine, whatever. But if you want to be real efficient and official with it, boom, I get him here. I switch and I come back with a power knee, right? Because again, we want to cause serious injuries here. We're not looking to have a sports match. We're not looking to dilly dally around. We're looking to take this guy out. And if we have to crush his testicles to do it, so be it, all right? So again, one more time without the pads. He pushes me, shit, boom. I come here and then notice how I'm already good to go here. I don't need to do a switch or anything. Boom, right into the knees, or right into the groin. So Ralph's gonna hold the pads. I'm gonna throw elbow. I'm gonna come back. He's gonna hold down here, knee. Now with the knees, you can grab your partner. It's not completely necessary. I like to maintain control of my enemy for two reasons. Number one, I know where he is and I know, okay, well like if I'm on a tie clutch with him or if I've got hands, I know that he's probably not gonna be able to pull something out of his pocket or whatever, so I always try to get hands if I can. Also, I come here, boom, boom, and he starts to fall over. It's on the street, I wanna control him. I don't wanna let his head hit the pavement and now all of a sudden I'm getting charged for fucking manslaughter or murder or some shit like that. So whenever we can, if our opponent goes down on the concrete, try to control their fall if it's tactically advantageous for you, okay? So like, it happens a lot, believe it or not. Guy gets into a bar fight, cracks the other guy, the guy falls down, cracks the back of his head open, goes into a coma, dies. That guy's getting charged with murder, whether it was self-defense or not. So we wanna be cautious and diligent. If I can get a hold of clothing, whatever I can, so that when he starts going down, if he starts going down, I can at least make sure he's not gonna kill himself while he does it. So again, one more time, it's gonna go like this. Elbow, bye, knee, bye. All right, good, <laughs> thank gosh. All right guys, so train that at home. Um, super simple techniques, again, best techniques. On the bag, in the air, doesn't matter, on your partner. Elbow, clench him up, grab him up, knee. And remember, the rear knee is the power knee. Whether that's going into the bladder, the groin, try to avoid going into their abs, it's not going to do as much damage as we want. If you got to go high, sternum. Xiphoid process is where we want to place these shots. So here, groin, bladder as well works. Um, and if we're really in a dire pinch, we can get them, just hold uh, pads like this, we can get them up here. But again, this ain't no Muay Thai sports match. Try to go for targets that will incapacitate your enemy. Until next time, guys, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. GutterFightingTickets.com is the website online training super easy super super efficient and super affordable thank you so much guys i'll talk to you next time Cheers.